St. Catherine's Church in the heart of Brussels was closed numerous times. It almost got demolished due to its dilapidated state and dwindling congregation. Until young priest Jeremy Schaub had an idea to create a modern craft beer for the church, its congregation and the local community. It's made by a local brewery. When I knocked on the door of the Brussels Beer Project, they were a little surprised. First, I was a bit timid. This was all new to me. But I told myself to go through with it and be courageous. The result, a fruity pale ale called Santa Cat, named after St. Catherine's Church. It's produced by a young Brussels brewery startup. The international team has already made 17,000 litres of the church beer at the request of the priest. They came up with the recipe together. We did a, a lot of tasting of beers just to understand what we, we can do, what we can explore, and then we, we, we reached the conclusion that uh, we should keep some Belgian profile in the beer and then add some new world uh, techniques, uh, new, new kind of um, uh, ingredients to the beer that people in Belgium are not so used to. The next batch of beer is brewing in this tank. The beverage only hit shelves in early October, but is almost sold out already. Only about 600 bottles remain. Church and craft beer are clearly a winning combination. I thought it was brilliant. This unusual coming together of two different worlds turned out great. I think it's wonderful to make a modern beer with the church on its label. It shows that beer can reinvent itself and that the church can be a part of that. A great combination. The brewery sells the beer to Malta and even Japan, but most of it goes to local bars and restaurants in Brussels St. Catherine district. Priest Jeremy Schaub collects it from the brewery and then delivers it personally. The church brew is hugely popular. Luckily, the brewery's own bar still has reserves. Brussels has many young international residents, but fewer churchgoers. What do they make of the brew? I really like it. It's a bit bitter, has a bit of sweetness, and it has a really great color. I'm not religious, but I don't mind that the church is involved in this. Actually, I think it's kind of cool. It's a great and innovative idea. A church that's open to new things. It's good. It's a, more like a citric beer. I liked it. Yeah, it's very fresh. Maybe more for summer than winter, but it's fine. All profits generated from the beer go directly to the church and towards making crucial repairs to the building. But for Jeremy Schaub, the money comes second. His main goal is to raise the church's profile in the district. I'd continue this project even if we didn't earn a single euro from making the beer because it creates a great dynamic. And drinking beer is a sociable thing to do with friends. It's a great project. We don't make a big profit. It will certainly help making repairs to the church building. But it won't be enough for a complete renovation. I mean, we're not selling champagne, are we? For Sunday Mass, St. Catherine's pews fill up. Jeremy Schaub also plans to use the profit from the beer to install heating in the church for cold winter days. Communion is still celebrated with wine, but the beer can be bought afterwards outside the church. And many in the congregation take a few bottles home. The Church Craft Beer Project is a success. Cheers to that. <laughs>